everybody, it's Tara here. I'm responding to your video, but before I begin, first of all, I just want to say excuse my voice. I'm really kind of sick. I'm really kind of irritated with it. But I'm also really glad that you made this video because I got a new coffee maker, which is the Keurig coffee maker with the pods. These are some of my pods here I have on the carousel. I purchased the coffee maker from Walmart and I got the carousel from Bed Bath & Beyond but you can get it either place. But anyways, um, yeah I got this new coffee maker and I tried to make iced coffee last week and it didn't work out well. So um, obviously you taught me how so I tried it again and it came out well. So, to begin, I guess, I already, um, made my coffee and chilled it. I used, um, I used two different pods for this. I used French Vanilla and, um, Extra Bold Kona Coffee. This is the French Vanilla. This is the Extra Bold. I use the extra bold just because I know like when you start mixing coffee drinks um, you tend to lose the coffee flavor so I use an extra bold and French vanilla as I said. I'm also going to demonstrate this coffee machine for you and everyone so just in case if you don't know you can see how it worked. I'm going to demonstrate um, with the extra bold pod and what I did was um, with this coffee maker, you actually have the choice to brew 8 ounces or 6 ounces. Um, I brewed 2 cups of 8 ounce and chilled all together, but for this, I'm just going to brew 6 ounces in my small cup. Just to show you how it works. Yeah, it's a little slow sometimes, I know. <sighs> there, it's done. But anyways, that's what I did. I brewed not six ounces, I brewed eight ounces just so I would have more coffee. And um, I chilled it in this. It's just one of my personal coffee containers. That's a little bit of what I have left. I found it really interesting actually because I saw that you had um, great value products and I recently, I'm from Jersey, and I recently just went to a super Walmart for the first time, um, the one in Secaucus. I know that like down south they have more, but uh, over here super Walmarts are very, I don't even know if like my regular Walmart has great value products, but <laughs> great value products are obviously a really great value because this creamer it's huge but anyways I added creamer to my coffee because I just personally like really like coffee and I added sugar here's my sugar it really needs to be refilled but I'll show you my size scooper this is my scooper I guess it's pretty regular I can't tell you how much sugar I added I added a lot because I feel like iced coffee and things like that should be sweeter so I added a lot of sugar to that. Um, this, I don't know, let me see. Instead of using milk, I actually used eggnog. And the reason why I chose to use eggnog is because, um, well, it's the holiday season and I really like eggnog personally, but the Keurig, the pods, I was in Walmart not that long ago, 
and I saw that they had a holiday box with like, you know, different holiday variety flavors of the pods, and um, one of the, the holiday flavors was eggnog, and I didn't buy it. But I recently went to the doctor with my sister, and the doctor's office had um, the Keurig pot um, with all the pods, and they had the holiday selection. So I tried the eggnog, and like it was good, but I don't know, it was a little off. It wasn't as great as I thought, especially, you know, coming from me, a real eggnog fan. So I replaced um, my the milk that you used with cold eggnog, and here it is already mixed in the glass. I didn't use a blender. I um, hand mixed it just because my blender recently took a trip to the garbage can. It crashed on me. I think I used it too much. It's old anyway. So yeah, but I hand mixed it. This is what it looks like all blended together. I think it's a little bit of a light color, but then I did add creamer. So I don't know. Maybe it makes a difference. I'll pour some of my coffee for you into this glass. Ooh, let me move this out of the way. And so this glass, you can see the color of the coffee before I mixed it with the eggnog. So if you put them two together, I guess the coffee slightly darker, so I don't know. I guess it's all right. Um, I did taste it. I must say it did taste really good. And I was impressed with myself. I haven't poured it um, in a glass of ice. I have crushed ice here in this glass. I'm, us I'm using cups and glasses just so you can see what I'm doing versus my other coffee mug container things or whatever. But I don't know, like, I don't know if crushed, I like crushed ice better. But if I'm going to be taking this with me to school or to work, I'm really thinking about maybe using cubed ice because crushed ice, although I like it better, it tends to um, melt more quickly, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm pouring this in. I'm spilling. Okay, there we go. Kind of difficult to do with one hand. And that is my phone, which I'm not answering. But yes, so this is my iced coffee drink. Um, yeah, really, thanks for this video. I'm glad I made it. Glad I tried it. I'm going to surprise my cousin with this because she's coming over. I'm not going to tell her. Well, no, maybe I'll tell her I made it. I'll tell her to take a taste first. And if she loves it, then I know I did well. But, yeah, thanks for the video. Really, really, <laughs> the iced coffee I attempted to make earlier was a total fail. But this definitely worked out. So, yeah, I'm responding, and I, I'll definitely keep watching. See you, Natty.